The whispers started almost immediately. Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, had acted in a way that no one expected. Those close to the palace said it was King Charles himself who delivered the news, and it sent shockwaves through the royal household. Camilla will no longer be called queen. The words hung heavy in the air, sparking a wave of tension across the nation. Was this a sign of a rift between the king and his lifelong partner? Was there something more sinister happening behind the gilded doors of Buckingham Palace? People began to wonder, speculate, and fear what might come next. For years, Camilla Parker Bowles had navigated a complicated relationship with the public. Her marriage to Charles in 2005 was met with mixed emotions, some could not forget Diana, the people's princess. Camilla had worked tirelessly to overcome the skepticism, throwing herself into charity work, earning respect, and slowly gaining the trust of a cautious public. She seemed ready to step into the role of queen when Charles finally took the throne. But now, it was all gone. Why had Camilla been stripped of her title at the very moment she was supposed to claim it? Was this a mutual decision, or had King Charles forced her to give up her long-prepared path to the throne? The tension only grew, and behind closed doors, the royals were silent. From the start, Camilla's journey in the royal family was never smooth. She was meant to become princess consort when Charles became king, a title carefully designed to avoid stirring too many emotions given the public's enduring love for Diana. But as time passed, whispers grew louder, and the possibility of Camilla being called queen seemed more and more likely. And then, suddenly, it wasn't. Behind palace walls, insiders described the moment as nothing less than a bombshell. Camilla had been poised to step up, to take on the title that had been her destiny. Yet, here she was, standing without the crown she had been so close to wearing. Rumors spread like wildfire. Was it Charles who pulled the plug? Was Camilla forced to step aside, or was there something even deeper going on? What had changed so drastically in the final moments? Tension escalated with each passing day. Was this a carefully calculated move by King Charles, designed to solidify his reign, or was it a miscalculation, a power play that would backfire on the monarchy? Those close to the king insisted this was a strategic decision, a way to focus attention on his vision for the future of the monarchy to avoid any public outcry that could destabilize his early reign. But could that really be the only reason? Camilla had been with Charles through every trial and tribulation. She had stood by him, often in the shadows, supporting him through years of scrutiny. And now, just as she was about to take her place beside him as queen, the title was taken away. The question lingered, was this Charles's way of ensuring that his reign would be free from controversy? or had the weight of history and public expectation finally caught up with them both. For Camilla, the decision was more than just a shift in title. Her entire journey in the royal family had been marked by balancing the ancient traditions of the monarchy with the modern demands of a new era. The British monarchy, one of the oldest institutions in the world, had always stood for stability. But in recent years, it has been forced to adapt to a changing world, where tradition and modernity clash more than ever before. With Camilla now stepping back from the title of queen, it seemed that the monarchy was trying to send a message. But was it a message of humility and service, or was it something else entirely? Was the royal family trying to show the world that they could change, or was this an attempt to preserve their power in an uncertain future? And what did this mean for Camilla herself? After decades of standing by Charles's side, was she simply stepping into the background now, content to support him from behind the scenes? Or was this decision something more personal, an emotional weight that had been lifted, a quiet relief from the constant pressure of public scrutiny? The tension surrounding the decision only grew stronger as the world watched. Would Camilla's new role as princess consort redefine what it meant to be part of the royal family? Was this a new chapter for the monarchy, one where personal titles mattered less and the focus shifted towards service and duty? Or was this just the beginning of an even larger shakeup? As the days passed, the tension continued to build. Inside the palace, no one knew exactly how this decision would play out. Would it change how the world viewed the monarchy? Could it make the royal family more relatable, or would it spark even more questions about the future of the institution? 
In a time when the monarchy is at a crossroads, Camilla's role in the years to come could be more important than ever. While she may no longer be called queen, her influence remains undeniable. She has shaped Charles's reign from the shadows, offering guidance and support that will likely continue to play a pivotal role in the monarchy's future. And with King Charles now in the spotlight, making decisions that could shape the royal family for generations to come, Camilla's decision to step back from the queen title might have been a way to let Charles focus on his reign without distraction. But would it be enough to satisfy a public hungry for answers? As Prince William and Catherine step up to take on more visible roles within the royal family, the question becomes even more urgent. Is this the start of a new era for the monarchy, one where younger generations will take the lead while the older royals step back? Or is there still more to come from Camilla, the woman who has already defied so many expectations? The tension reached its peak as the public waited for answers. What did Camilla's decision really mean for the future of the monarchy? Would this be the moment that finally brought the royal family closer to the people, or was it a sign of deeper, more complicated issues within the institution? Whatever the answer, one thing was clear, this was just the beginning of a new chapter in the royal family's long, complex history. Camilla's decision to drop the queen title might have been seen as a step back, but it could also mark the beginning of a new, more modern monarchy, one where tradition and service go hand in hand. And as King Charles's reign continues to unfold, the tension surrounding Camilla's role will no doubt continue to keep the world on edge, waiting for the next twist in this royal drama. For now, the tension remains and the world watches. The tension grew even thicker as the days turned into weeks. Inside Buckingham Palace, the air felt heavy with unspoken truths, as though everyone knew something that the rest of the world could only guess at. Camilla's unexpected decision to forego the title of queen wasn't just a personal choice, it was a move that sent ripples through the very core of the British monarchy. But why now? Why, after years of steady preparation, had she stepped back just as her moment in the spotlight had arrived? People began to ask themselves if there was more to the story. Had Camilla truly made this choice, or was she under pressure? Was there a rift within the royal family, or perhaps a deeper fear that the public would not accept her as queen. These questions loomed large and with each passing day, the suspense only deepened. And while the world waited for answers, the royal family remained silent. Was this silence part of a larger plan? Could it be that King Charles and Camilla were strategically managing public perception, knowing full well that the monarchy had to navigate treacherous waters in a modern age? After all, the monarchy was no stranger to controversy, and it had survived for centuries by being able to adapt. But now, in a world where public opinion was more volatile than ever, every decision mattered. Every misstep could have long-lasting consequences. The tension between tradition and modernity had always been a challenge for the monarchy. Camilla had been at the heart of that struggle from the moment she married Charles. She had been cast as the outsider, the one who dared to step into a role that was forever associated with Princess Diana. But she had weathered the storm, winning over many who had doubted her. And now, just when it seemed that the public was finally ready to accept her as queen, she was stepping back. Why? The more people speculated, the more intense the tension became. Was this Charles's way of protecting Camilla from the pressures of being queen, or was he trying to solidify his own reign by keeping the focus squarely on himself? There were whispers that Charles wanted to slim down, the royal family, focusing on a smaller circle of direct heirs and reducing the number of working royals. Perhaps Camilla's decision was part of that larger plan, a way to modernize the monarchy and make it more relevant in today's world. But even as the world pondered these possibilities, one thing was certain, Camilla's influence was far from over. She may no longer be called queen, but her role as princess consort still carried significant weight. And in a monarchy where every move is calculated, this decision could very well be part of a longer-term strategy that would shape the royal family's future for years to come. Behind the scenes, insiders hinted that Camilla herself might have been relieved to give up the title. After years of living under the intense scrutiny of the public eye, the emotional weight of stepping into the role of queen may have been too much. Perhaps by stepping back, Camilla could finally breathe, focusing on the causes she cared about without the additional pressure of the crown. And yet, the tension remained. 
because even as Camilla stepped back, her decision raised new questions about what it meant for the future of the monarchy. Was this the beginning of a more humble, service-oriented royal family, or was it simply a way to manage public expectations in the short term? Could this move inspire other royals to rethink their roles, or was this just a unique situation tied to Camilla's personal journey? As the world watched, the royal family faced a new challenge, balancing tradition with the need for change in a world that demanded both. King Charles had long been known for his progressive views on issues like climate change and architecture, but now he was faced with the task of modernizing the monarchy itself. And with Camilla by his side, their partnership could redefine what it meant to be a royal in the 21st century. But the tension surrounding Camilla's decision wasn't just about her. It was also about the future of the entire royal family. With Prince William and Catherine taking on more visible roles and younger generations waiting in the wings, the monarchy was at a crossroads. Would Camilla's decision to step back as queen pave the way for a more relatable, modern monarchy, or would it highlight deeper fractures within the institution that could eventually lead to its downfall? The public waited with bated breath, wondering what the next move would be. Every appearance by Camilla and Charles was scrutinized for signs of tension or hidden meaning. Was Camilla truly happy with her decision, or was there a part of her that regretted letting go of the title she had worked so hard to earn? And what about Charles, was he using this as a power play to cement his authority, or was he genuinely trying to protect Camilla from the harsh glare of the public eye? The tension built with each new development, as the world tried to make sense of a decision that had caught everyone off guard. What would happen next? Would this be the moment that reshaped the monarchy forever, or would things quietly return to normal once the dust had settled? For now, all anyone could do was watch and wait. The monarchy had survived countless challenges in the past, but this, this felt different. The stakes were higher, the scrutiny more intense, and the consequences of every decision more far-reaching than ever before. And in the center of it all stood Camilla, the woman who had defied the odds time and time again, now facing perhaps the greatest challenge of her life. Would she emerge stronger, her role as princess consort giving her the freedom to truly shape the future of the monarchy? Or was this a sign that the weight of history was too much for even the most resilient to bear? As the tension reached its peak, one thing was certain, the story was far from over. The monarchy was changing, evolving in ways that no one could have predicted. And Camilla's decision to step back from the queen title was just the beginning. The next chapter was about to unfold, and the world was watching, waiting for the moment when the tension would finally break, revealing the true future of the British monarchy. I hate you Camilla so so much. The whispers began to swirl quietly at first, then erupted into a storm that no one in Buckingham Palace could ignore. It was just weeks after King Charles ascended the throne when Camilla, the steadfast woman by his side for years, was suddenly thrust into the center of a royal crisis. Rumors were everywhere, had the king himself forced her to drop the title she was promised. Was this a calculated decision or something darker, more personal? Royal insiders said nothing, but their silence only added to the mystery. It was a decision that seemed to defy all expectations. Camilla had spent years gradually winning over a public that once viewed her with suspicion. She had endured being compared endlessly to Princess Diana, a figure so beloved that her shadow seemed inescapable. Yet, after decades of scrutiny and judgment, Camilla had done the unthinkable, she had gained acceptance. She had proven her devotion to the monarchy and, by all accounts, was set to claim the title of queen when Charles took the throne. But then, everything changed. There were murmurs that King Charles had forced her hand, and the palace corridors buzzed with speculation. Why, after all these years, was she suddenly stepping back from what seemed to be her destiny? Some believed that Charles wanted to shift the focus of his reign onto himself, reducing any possible controversy. Others thought that the king, ever strategic, might be trying to steer the monarchy through a new, modern era, a move designed to placate a public weary of royal drama. But no one truly knew. The decision left the nation in shock. Camilla had been preparing for this role for years. And yet, 
just as the crown seemed within her grasp, she was pushed to the side. Was it Charles's doing? Or was there something deeper at play, a hidden power struggle within the palace, perhaps? The answer, as many feared, might never fully come to light. It's worth noting that Camilla's journey has never been easy. From the moment her relationship with Charles became public, she was met with a wave of public resentment. The ghost of Princess Diana loomed large, and it seemed that no matter what Camilla did, it was never enough. She was scrutinized, criticized, and judged at every turn. The press had a field day, and many believed her royal future was over before it had even begun. But Camilla persevered. Slowly, over time, she managed to turn the tide of public opinion, winning hearts through her charity work and her quiet, dignified support of Charles. The role of queen seemed like the final reward for years of hard work. And yet, just like that, it was gone. For weeks, the silence from Buckingham Palace was deafening. There were no official statements, no explanations offered to a confused and curious public. Behind closed doors, the royal PR machine was spinning, crafting a narrative that would make sense of this unexpected turn of events. It was a delicate operation, one wrong move, and the monarchy could face a backlash the likes of which it hadn't seen in years. The monarchy had survived for centuries by adapting to the times, but could it survive this latest shakeup? The real question on everyone's lips was whether King Charles had made a misstep. By forcing Camilla to relinquish the queen title, had he unintentionally damaged the very monarchy he was trying to protect? Or was this all part of a grander plan, a move designed to safeguard the future of the crown in a world that was changing rapidly? The answer wasn't clear, and the uncertainty only fueled the tension. Public opinion was split. Some believed that Charles had made the right call, that the title of queen was too heavy a burden for Camilla, who had already faced more scrutiny than any royal consort in recent memory. Others saw it as a cruel blow, an unfair punishment for a woman who had given her life to the service of the crown. And yet, amid all the speculation, one fact remained, Camilla's influence within the monarchy had not waned. Even without the title of queen, she was still a central figure in the royal household, quietly shaping the future of the institution she had come to embody. As the tension built, the question of what this meant for the monarchy's future became impossible to ignore. Was this a sign of things to come? Would other members of the royal family follow suit, relinquishing their traditional titles in favor of a more modern, streamlined monarchy? Some believed that this was the beginning of a new era for the royal family, an era where titles and formalities mattered less, and public service mattered more. But others feared that by letting go of such an important symbol of tradition, the monarchy was losing a part of its identity. King Charles, for his part, remained silent on the matter. He had always been known for his forward-thinking views, his passion for environmental issues, his desire to modernize the monarchy, but this decision seemed to come out of nowhere. Was it a calculated move to ensure the monarchy's survival in the 21st century, or was it something more personal? No one knew for sure, but the tension was palpable. And then there was the matter of Camilla herself. How did she feel about being forced to step back from the role she had been preparing for all these years? Some insiders suggested that she was relieved, that the pressure of being queen was too much to bear after a lifetime of public scrutiny. Others believed that she was heartbroken, that this decision had been made without her consent, and that she had been robbed of the title she had worked so hard to earn. Whatever the truth, one thing was clear, Camilla's legacy had been changed forever. In the weeks that followed, the tension within the palace grew even more intense. There were whispers of power struggles, of behind-the-scenes maneuvering as the royal family grappled with the fallout from this unexpected decision. Was this just the beginning of a larger transformation within the monarchy, or was it an isolated incident? Only time would tell, but the stakes had never been higher. 
Prince William and his wife, Catherine, were also drawn into the mix. As the next generation of royals, they were seen as the future of the monarchy. But with this latest twist, questions arose about how they would handle their own roles when the time came. Would they follow in Charles's footsteps and make similar moves to modernize the monarchy, or would they cling to the traditions that had sustained the institution for centuries? The pressure was mounting, and the world was watching. As the days turned into weeks, the tension only continued to build. The British public, always fiercely protective of their monarchy, began to weigh in on the matter. Some praised Charles for his decision, arguing that it was a necessary step to ensure the monarchy's relevance in a rapidly changing world. Others were outraged, seeing it as a betrayal of the very traditions that had made the monarchy what it was. Social media was ablaze with opinions, and the headlines were dominated by speculation about what this all meant for the future of the royal family. But amid all the noise, one thing remained certain, the monarchy was at a crossroads. This was not just a simple change of titles, it was a fundamental shift in how the royal family presented itself to the world. And the stakes could not have been higher. Would this move ensure the monarchy's survival in a modern world, or would it lead to its eventual downfall? The tension was thick, and no one knew what would happen next. As King Charles and Camilla navigated this new chapter of their lives, the world watched with bated breath. The future of the monarchy was hanging in the balance, and every move they made could have far-reaching consequences. And yet, through it all, Camilla remained a steady presence, a woman who had endured more than her fair share of challenges and come out stronger on the other side. Whether or not she would ever be called queen, her influence within the royal family was undeniable. 